Bear 8, still at the river, still enjoying the gentle sounds of the river as we practice our Bear Qigong. This is Bear 8, the last of our intermediate forms in our system. This one is Bear Bumps and Stomps. The image here is of a bear bumping its shoulders up against a tree as it goes through the forest. The bear is bumping into one tree and then the other. There's a little bit of a side motion as you do this one. There's also, as much as you want to add it, a loud, heavy stomping motion, like a bear stomping and taking up space. One of the qualities of the bear is that it's an omnivore, that it has a lot of mass and takes up a lot of space really fearlessly. So when you're doing your bear practice, don't shrink your forms. Sometimes if we're doing, if we're doing a crane form or if we're doing a monkey form, we're deliberately sort of compressing things and shrinking or being careful and selective. But the bear is about big energy. It's about moving through space, making big sweeps, having big energy, and fearlessly taking up space. Those are all energetic qualities of the bear. This form especially. So as you go stomping side to side, don't be afraid to take a really wide stance. Don't be afraid to take up space with your arms and with your energy. The alternation of the arms when we do this, one fist comes up, the other fist comes down. So there's a yin-yang alternation of the fists and of the arms. This is the pattern, the general pattern of the arms. As one arm and fist comes up and out, those are yang masculine qualities. The other one goes back and down, which are yin feminine qualities. And then it alternates. Yin becomes yang, yang becomes yin, yin becomes yang, again and again, endlessly repeating this harmonic between the masculine and feminine that's portrayed by the Tai Chi symbol. So as you do this, you're actually literally embodying this balance of masculine and feminine, this sort of endless harmony between those two. While you're practicing your forms, watch and notice some of your energy is going to be up, out, and forward, going to be yang. Some of it's going to be back and down and rooted into the ground. You want to balance between those. If you're too far forward, you're going to get pulled off balance to the front. If you're too far back, you're going to be sort of tentative. You want a nice, strong, balanced harmony between the two as you do this, all right? Give it a shot. Enjoy. Uh, this is bare bumps and stomps with another walking form. Remember when you're practicing these forms, you can always go as slow as you like. You can slow down the video or slow down your practice or both. So I'll try, I'll take another, another pass back, try to slow it down a little bit. Remember, you choose your speed once you understand the form. Okay? A little bit slower on the way back.